What is going on guys? Anaconda Squeeze back again in Skyrim Special Edition for the PS4. I'm bringing you guys another wonderful mod showcase today. This one's a little bit different. As you guys know, I am a little new to YouTube. This whole Skyrim being like an actual broadcaster thing has been really, really sudden for me. It's only been about two months here and I'm just kind of still setting into it. I didn't realize my YouTube account had like a direct messaging thing set up, so I've been getting messages from mod devs, people I know, people I don't like. Mika goes telling me, hey, like, just so you know, I'm making a new thing popping out here. Like, just think you should check it out. But I didn't see that till after I already had, like, done a review on it. Well, I have one from a little bit, from like a while ago. Not too long, a couple, like, a few days. From uh, someone called Braylon. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> someone called Braylon just telling me, hey, like, I really like your server, like, your whole, like, channel. And I like watching your stuff. I've just recently started doing mods. Do you want to check one out? And I feel horrible that it took me this long. I replied right away, being like, oh, hey, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> oh, my throat's dying up here. But all in all, like, I did check out his mod here. It's called, I, this, I'm going to butcher this one. This is Latathunes. Latathunes, I think it is. <clears throat> what the hell is wrong with my throat? I'm so sorry, guys. I, like, was totally fine until I started talking today. But yeah, Latathunes comes with a little cool thing here. Apparently... Uh, there's an avalanche and exposed what seems to be Dwemer Ruins uh, that are under the throat of the world. Now, at first I was hoping this would be like a player base, but it actually looks like this is a dungeon mod. So we will, like, I'm going in here completely blind, quite literally, because it's behind me as you can see and you can't really see past that. Uh, now, it talks about, like, this is kind of set up so it is for the higher level, like, player. So you do actually have to know the Clear Sky shout. So you have to be far enough in the story that you know that shout to get to this dungeon. I have gone and spent the last, like, half an hour bumping this guy back up so we can get the Clear Sky Shout. And we're going to head over here. So what you're going to do, come over to High Hrothgar, go to the back courtyard, and you're going to get to, like, this kind of path here that takes you up to the top of the mountain. And you're just going to shout your way. And I don't know how far along it's going to be. But we are going to look for kind of like a broken door in the side of the mountain here. Like, it's going to look like a weird, like, ruined door that was exposed. So we're just going to walk this way, and hopefully we'll find it pretty quickly here. <clears throat> I do encourage you guys to direct message me. Uh, I get a lot of comments from you guys. I really appreciate all the feedback that you guys do give me. Like, I get comments from mod devs, and now I'm learning I've actually been getting direct messages from mod devs. Which is kind of cool. Like, it's a really new thing for me, actually, like, having people who I see as doing really good work. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. This is our doorway. The Unearthed Ruin. So we're going to head in here. Alright, looking dank and dark in this cave. Okay, already. I kind of want to see. It talks about how like you are like definitely good for a high level. Uh, apparently a dragonborn with enough sneak can clear the whole thing without killing a single person. I'm not going to go that way. I'm here to fuck as much shit up as I can. Oh, look at that right away. Uh-oh. Is that a Charas Hunter? I believe... I'm not even going to sneak in this motherfucker. Oh, there's a dead guy in the gate. No, not Idros. No, the skooma bottles are empty. And his journal. Let's see what he has to say here about this fucking nonsense. Oh, so this talks about the uh, time here. So it was on sun's dusk. It gets back from red water. Blah, blah, blah. Essentially after sun's dusk uh, of the last year, there was the avalanche that exposed this whole thing. So we're not going to read this entire thing because I like collecting books. I don't necessarily like reading books. Like, I'm just kind of a... A shitty person in that regard. Okay, we got Falmer. <laughs> We've got Charis or Karath? I don't fucking know. Like, I know that, like, when you kill these things and you get their stuff, it's called, like, Chitin. It's not actually called Chitin, so I don't know if it's called Karath? I don't care. Either we're gonna start killing people. It's just. You know what, guys? I got my god armor on here specifically for this reason. You're not here to watch me fight, guys. You're here to watch the cool mods and see what you guys have to fight against. So if you do come in here, get ready for an actual brawl. Like, it looks like there's going to be... Ooh, I like these glowy rocks. That's fun. I want to call him Karis. I feel like... Because it's Chitin, so it has to be Karis. Using deductive reasoning, that's what I've come up with. Alright, let's have a quick little peek around here. I don't want to kind of leave anything. Let's have a peek this way. See if there's anything secret we can uncover. And I do have the extended jump mod on, so these are... Not your standard jumps I'm doing. I come to play, alright? I play for keeps. 
So it looks like we're going to head up there. Before we do, we're going to go this way because I saw some more baddies that need a sword in their ass. Oh, what the fuck? This looks like quite an extensive place. Oh, shit. This is going to take me a while. Raw. I've been poisoned? Eat a dick. <clears throat> so we're just going to run through here, kill as much people as we can. This is why I like having our god stuff on so I can show you the mod, but it doesn't take six and a half years. Oh, see, it's a good thing we came up here. I don't know what that lowered, but hopefully it's doing something important here for us. Let's go this way. Ooh. Somebody shooting some magic at me? Where is it? I don't care. I'll find you in a second and kick your ass. Okay, head over this way. I wonder if you can walk on that pipe, but no, nothing. So hoping there'd be a secret thing at the end of the pipe, but there's nothing really there, it seems. Let's get us gate unlocked. Now, I don't have... I should probably just actually level up to get my master lock stuff done, because I have the unbreakable lockpick mod on, and without knowing the master stuff, you kind of just look like an idiot going through this like every two seconds. Mm. Oh. I cannot believe I had to just edit that whole part, because it took me way too long to do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got another level here. Lever here. Level... I don't know why I have, like, dyslexia when I talk. Oh, bastard! Get out of here. Lever. Let's jump the... Oh, fuck. Orb will fall off. Watch out for falling off of things. Don't be like me. I land on this cool little thing, though. That's nice. Jump. Okay. So this is the way we're going to head, actually, right now. Up here. Anything fun this way? Nothing it looks like. There's an evil bitch. Oh, Alright, so we've killed that person. Now, another thing I am changing about the way I do broadcast now is I'm going to try my hardest not to swear. And it's not because I want to like turn this into a PG like channel. Uh, I just I've received it twice now where Oh, here's a third lever. Yeah, twice now I've received messages from mod devs being like awesome I loved your review thanks for reviewing my mod that'd be great to use on the actual mod channel except for you swear like a sailor and I want to have like obviously I don't want to have that on my mod review so I could I'm like losing out on opportunities here to be act an actual part of people's mod stuff because I'm such a potty mouth what are you doing not in the oh oh my that was quite rude now, like, in things, like the new arc thing we're doing, where there's always dinosaurs trying to kill me, I'm probably still going to keep swearing in there. It's just in things like this, where I am really getting screwed. So, in, like, respects to the mod devs who are putting in this much work to get this kind of stuff here, and they are honestly uh, making, they're the reason I'm popular, so why would I not try to give back to them here? I'm going to try to limit the amount of swearing that I do in these mod reviews. Just so they can kind of have something nice to show everybody and not just, like, adults. Okay, so we've hit three levers so far. I just want to make sure... I feel like we're missing more, but i got to make sure I hit everything first. So we went all the way over there. We've gone inside that little secret area. I think we've done everything lever-wise that I could find. But I guess we're going to find out if we get to the end here and nothing opens up. Okay... Let's go this way. There are a lot of dead people. Oh my. Hello, Centurion. I like how much stuff is in here. There are a ton of things in here. Now you really need to have like master like sneak if you want to get not caught by anything. Okay. We are missing one lever. There are four levers and levers and we are missing one. So let's go and try to search out this last lever. Okay, so remember when we were doing our jumps, and I was talking about how, oh, I put the jump mod on, uh, blah, blah, blah. So we do actually have to come in here, because here is the last lever. It's just kind of chilling up there. So we got to hit that lever, and that should open this last gate here. So let's have a run that way. Alrighty. Yeah, as I was saying, guys, I just kind of want to give back to the mod devs who have been doing all this nice stuff for me by making a little bit better quality of a mod review here because I guess like kids will watch these too so I should try to be a 
a decent human being here. Yeah, so I will try to keep my, my language in check here for you. Ooh, okay, we're in a new chamber here. I like the fun lights. I love the Dwemer stuff. It's so fun. Adds, like, a steampunk vibe. Like, I'm not a huge fan of steampunk, but I am, like, I'm digging the steampunk that, like, Dwemer is for Skyrim. Let's head in here. Look at him squatting. We have a slav just right in the middle of the room. Hmm. Good day. Good day to you. So we're just killing things here. Dick. Is Dick a swear? I don't think Dick is a swear. We could probably get away with saying Dick. Alrighty. Let's have a look this way. Make sure we get everything. Oh, there's a switch. Okay, does that turn on? Haha, -ha, I have the shaman's key. I don't need your shit. Okay, so I've hit one button so far. I imagine we're going to have to find more. Just because... Seems to be how things are going. Oh, that gate does not want to open. Oh, that was the wrong shout. Alright, I'm going to have to come kill you myself now. Sorry about that. That's just amateur hour. Hey, you. Hey, Mr. Rude Pants. No. Bad. Ooh. We got some soul gems right here. Another master lock that I'm probably going to have to edit out because I'm trash. Haha, -ha, the magic of editing has made me seem like much better of a person. I am definitely going to have to go and just get that master lock thing dealt with because it is a little ridiculous that it takes me that long for master lock. So that gate down there that I tried to open that wasn't working, uh, I was kind of aware that was happening. One of the top comments that was in the mod description was actually someone saying, hey, I can't get in this thing, blah, blah, blah. So that is the gate that I've been waiting for, honestly, to not work. But I think, oh, I was hoping we could just drop down here. Doesn't look like it, but we're going this way anyways. Heading to the new room here. So hopefully, uh, Braylon's watching this and he can either update or he will let me know if there's something I missed and I'm an idiot. Because I'm, you know, if you know me, guys, I will definitely revisit a mod if I have completely butchered it. Let's turn this valve on. I just like touching the switches. Oh my. Oh, the valve opened the door. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go down that cave here. That probably looks like the actual way to go. Make sure you don't come to life. Here's another button. Now, because we pushed that button, oh, what was that? That's not cool. I see how it is. Looks like we're trapped this way, so don't go this way right off the bat. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Something's gonna die. What do we got? What's this over here? Moonstone? Geode vein. That's kind of fun. Hop up here. Nothing really secret down that way, but we're going to head down... Oh, stuck on a rock there. Head down this tunnel. Ooh, this is fun. Get a bit of a forge area, a ton of ingots. And by a ton, I mean like 18, maybe. I don't know. I'm not counting these things. Let's push this button. Can I just open this door? Nope, I need to push this button. We're pushing it. Let's head up here. Now, is this just wrapping around to where I was before? Yeah, that just wrapped all the way around. Oh my, that scared me. I activated this lovely little spinny man. Let's head into this room here. Lots of dead things. We got some chests to look at. Fun, fun, fun. Dwarven shield of magic suppression. Uh, suppression. Lots of armor here. Weapons, it looks like. Dead people. A button now I don't think that button did anything so I'm hoping kind of that it opens up that one gate in the other room that we were just talking about that people were having a problem with oh, I touched it again I'm the worst at setting off traps okay and I was totally correct so that is how we get that thing open so hopefully guy if you commented this 
hopefully you uh, watch the video. Because uh, I'm so helpful, I'm teaching you guys how to do things. Die, you ball man. Testicles. Hey, get out of here, dude. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. Oh, I really enjoy those kind of stairs. If I'm a crazy, like, evil villain one day, these are the stairs I'm going to have. The push a button and they like, sink down. This is cool. I like that we're, we're going places. Hall of the Brass Tower. All right, this looks ominous and scary, but I am ready to go. What? Look at that. That's fun. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Big cavernous area here. Uh, I want to make sure I don't fall. First of all, that'd be great. But I kind of want to look around. Don't fall off the edge. Just have a peek. Oh, it's so scary. Nothing really over here. Looks like we're going straight for these centurions. I like that. That's cool. That's a fun area. All right, Master Boy, Master Blaster. Who runs Baba Town? Take down these four centurion masters here. Hey, rude. Do they have any fun on them, or just are they just standard centurion masters? Let's go. Can't even search them. All right. Can't even search those guys. But this brings us over here, and where are we going? The un we're going to back to the unearthed ruins. So, just so I would like to see just something as more of a reward at the end of this mod. I think, just as like a little like congratulations, thanks for playing, uh, treat at the end. We did fight those four centurion masters. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to loot them, so I don't know if they had something on them. And that was the bug there, or we just. If I didn't do this with my god weapons. I'd probably be upset to put that whole effort in and then not really get anything other than a few enchanted weapons we found along the way. That being said, really had a fun time with this mod. Well done. It looked beautifully. The puzzles were all really... This, they didn't really give us. It wasn't like pull a lever and immediately get through. There were four levers we had to get to. There was a bunch of different buttons. We had that little trap where we were stuck the one way. Really well done. I uh, didn't run into, run into any bugs with, regarding the traps or with the gates, so that was awesome. I will be putting a link to the mod in the description below, so make sure you guys check that out. Uh, and definitely like and subscribe to the video if you had fun time with this video here, guys. And follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm starting to get my Twitter presence up here. I'm starting to talk more on it, tweet things about new videos, new series, stuff like that. So make sure you follow on there, and you can be a part of the action here. Until next time, guys, I am Anaconda Squeeze, and I will see you fucking later. Bye!